The former striker's first 26 months as president were marred by scandal and controversy. In particular, he was criticized for making decisions alone. No one in Cameroon is indifferent to Samuel Atao. The man who was one of the world's best strikers in the 2000s and was elected president of the Cameroon Football Federation on December 12, 2021, for a four-year term, has been under criticism for several weeks. The 43-year-old first announced his resignation on February 5, days after the indomitable Lions were eliminated in the round of 16 of the African Cup of Nations in Ivory Coast. He can only do that before he is elected by the General Assembly, Gibai Gatama, a member of the executive committee suspended by the Federation, told Agence France Press. The reporter said even, if accepted by the committee, this resignation is not legal. It is a ruse. But it is not the fake resignation that worries him and his supporters, but the investigation launched in August by the Confederation of African Football into allegations of inappropriate conduct and match fixing. The FICA foot president claimed he had never been questioned by CAF about the accusations against him and announced his intention to file charges against the Continental Group. It was too easy to taint everything that I have built over the years in the world of football," the former striker told France 24 on February 28. He said issuing the statement prematurely amounted to unacceptable conduct on the French side. CAF Director General Bielin Masengo Amba did not respond to requests for comments. However, it is learned that the investigation into CAF's allegations against Atao is already well advanced, and if the allegations are proven, FIFA could lead to his disqualification. The former Barcelona and Inter Milan striker has quickly made enemies since taking office as FICA foot president. His first 26 months as president were filled with action and controversy. This is not the first time that Fika Foot's presidency has been the subject of heated debate, but it is not the first time that a well-known figure, loved or hated, has held the office. There's a lot of talk, said Claude Bicot. Etao's selection brings some optimism after years of chaotic management of Cameroon's federation, which has been under FIFA administration on several occasions. He ran an excellent campaign with an ambitious project that generated a lot of anticipation. But after two and a half years in power, the results are disappointing," said 1988 African champion Andre Konabayak.